So yeah, in terms of CoffeeZilla and Logan Paul, it looks like their beef is not done. As Logan Paul has not paid, he has again not paid the amount of money that he said he would pay for the victims of, again, in his version, in his apology, he's not at fault. It was a bunch of other shady actors like Crypto King, which was uh, Jake, and he also was his Pokemon guy, collectible gurus, nowhere to be seen, of course. A lot of these crypto guys have disappeared in the night with your money. And according to Logan Paul, it was not his fault. It was the fault of others that he trusted. Now, my concern would be, why did you trust them? And Logan Paul has now hired, or at least has a attorney on retainer to tackle CoffeeZilla's questions, which as a lawyer, I can tell you, you don't pay a lawyer when you want to make things right. You pay a lawyer when you want to get away with something. Let me repeat that again. As a lawyer, you pay a lawyer when you know that something is a little bit eh and you don't want to pay. So you promised that you would pay $1.8 million. Lawyer costs you a million. You save 800000 Worth every penny, according to Logan Paul. I do think social media influencers from FTX and so on, Graham Stefan, Andre Janke, all of them, they should be held somewhat accountable because even if Logan Paul didn't know what was going on in his project, he was still the main influencer. He was the face of the project. He was the, um, I mean, a lot of people would not have bought into the project without him influencing you. That's the whole point of being an influencer. So am I shocked or appalled that he has decided not to pay? No, I mean, this was always one of the outcomes was he would hope that social media, given his pro wrestling, his prime, and it works, you know, it, and, and you might ask, why would he hope this? Because it works. It has worked. People forgot. People no longer care. They believe Logan Paul and has changed yet again. And Logan Paul is making so much money. And, and that's the kind of sad part is, when people say, oh, Logan Paul makes so much money, why can't he just afford to pay? He can afford to pay. He just will openly choose not to because he can hire lawyers. Why pay it when you don't have to? You can hire lawyers to make sure that you don't pay. This is the problem in our society today. We have very, very short attention spans. And when somebody has done something bad, we honestly allow them to apologize and we accept the apology because what else can you do? You accept the apology and, and you kind of move on and, and you try to understand why he did it. Why? I mean, I'm a little appalled, right? Six months later, all he's really done is hire a lawyer to serve as his PR. And it's a very pricey lawyer. Let me tell you about this guy. He's a partner of the firm. Jeffrey Neiman is a partner of the firm. He is not cheap to hire. I would imagine his hourly is 700, 800, maybe more an hour. And he's representing and he's spending the time to send letters on Logan Paul's behalf that Logan Paul himself will not send to, I mean, this is the guy. He's a trial attorney. Trial lawyers are the most expensive lawyers that you can buy typically. This isn't a person who, in my opinion, is in good faith trying to figure out a plan to return. It's been six months and there has been no progress. There's been not a dime return to these people. A lot of people would say, oh, you know, it's the victims. They're dumb and they're stupid and they put money into it and they shouldn't have done that. And they got greedy and, and all of this can be true, but it still can be a scam. Just because you scam somebody who's greedy, not intelligent, I mean, still not what you need to do because, in fact, we need to protect these people often from themselves. Otherwise, the government, us, we would have to support them on the taxpayers would need to support them on welfare and so on. This is a critical moment in time where a lot of influencers are getting away with this. I'm, I make videos about sports cards. And there are so many influencers who every single day, they do something, they steal a card, they steal a Moonbrion, which is a good Pokemon card. 
and there there's a bounty they don't pay the bounty on the moon beyond there's so many influencers who think that because they have subscribers and you don't have any that they can get away with basically murder online i want you guys to really kind of understand where i'm coming from we should not forgive logan paul if logan paul he got his flowers right for his apology some percentages of people let me i mean that they, they hate there was no much there was not as much hate towards him because they feel feel like oh he's going to make things right and then everyone forgot, and he hadn't paid a dime. You can't let that go. It's the same with the FTX influencers, Graham Stefan, Brian Jung. They're all being sued for a billion dollars right now, as I speak. I get it. Hey, not everyone is smart enough. and But, like, I hate the victim blaming. I, I really hate that in this type of scenario. Because... The victim is obviously dumb and stupid and, and somehow they fell for it or they were a big fan of Logan. There was something in the victim's mentality. Maybe they were greedy, which caused them to fall for this scam. So they're easy prey. So as a society, if we don't protect these individuals who, from these scams, uh, even as a government entity, maybe, if these individuals keep falling for these scams, keep losing their life savings, it's kind of like also the elderly the last thing we need as a taxpayer is to have a bunch of elderly people fall for a stick scam. It's not going to help anybody. And we're going to, I mean, a society should support its weakest. I was actually watching a crab video on the nature where it was like robot crab and there was a stingray. And I didn't know this. Some crabs have hard shells. Some crabs have soft shells. And the hard shell crabs protect the soft shell crabs. And that's what they do. So the people with money, the people with influence, they got to protect the people who don't. And that's what CoffeeZilla is doing because otherwise, you know, the stingray is going to eat all of us eventually, right? I just feel a little sick and a little, you know, out of, man, it, it's sad that Logan Paul hasn't paid a dime out yet. And in, in my opinion, that's who he is. And that's, I mean, how many times does somebody have to show you? If a person is willing to spend money on hiring a lawyer, I guarantee you they're going to fight paying this out. I guarantee you that instead of thinking of a plan to pay people out fairly, they're thinking of how do I not pay people. And that's very different from his initial apologies that he made to CoffeeZilla and to the CryptoZoo organization. And as CoffeeZilla said, it's not even worth his time. And that's the crazy part about this. It's not worth his time. He's making so much money from Prime Energy Drink. He's making so much money from WrestleMania. and I mean, $1.8 million to Logan Paul. I mean, it's still a lot of money. Don't get me wrong. It's still a lot of money. I, I don't think anyone can say that it's not a lot of money. Um, I don't think people can say it's not a lot of money. It is. But you have the money to pay it back. Why not pay back is my question. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.